Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a bit of Jilly's Balloon Art Magic. This is the sticky kisses that I do with very, it's literally with just paint and water and it's very minimalistic but it's lots of fun and de definitely art therapy. I don't usually do it on a canvas, but um, you, you could certainly do it on a canvas. It's always better if you use like a laminated surface, like a, mel a melamine surface. So these boards that I'm working on today are called a clay board. I have got a link for them in my Amazon store, I believe down below. Um, so it's an ultimate multimedia panel, they're called. Um, and I just find these nice and easy to work on because if you make any mistakes, you can wash them straight off. Um, so that's what I'm actually using today is this clay board. That's what, I'm, that's what this is. So, so, so. Um, and I usually use this one to do all my practicing on as you can see because then I can get straight in as soon as I've finished and if I'm practicing and wipe it all off again and it comes up all nice and clean. Now the simple 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 thing to this is I've got some just clear water to put my brushes in ready there. I've got my balloon can certainly do it with any size balloon and I wanted to get a long balloon but I forgot when I was out today and just an assortment of brushes and all I do is um, this is just a canvas with the actual plastic on it so I'm actually going to use this plastic as like my uh, paint uh, palette is that what they call it paint palette play, 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 play. so I'm going to put a little teeny bit of black because every colour goes a really long way. I'm using these PBO paints today, PEBIO or BIBIO or BBO paints. You can, I, I find you can use any acrylic paint or ganache. Is it, is it called ganache paint? So I'm just literally squirting, I'll show you in a second, a bit of each paint onto my surface. Uh, just what I'm Ooh. so I've literally just squirted a bit of paint onto the surface like that and I'll literally I just this is just a, a little bottle that I've recycled to use as a spray bottle so it's literally spraying each probably need some more water in there uh, each bit of paint I just give a good spray of water and it's probably, you know, probably need a little bit more water in there. I don't know why my bottle is not spraying out. Um, but yeah, you just keep your spray bottle handy because it's literally just the uh, paint and water, whether it's the acrylic paint or ganache, I think it is. You know, um, no pouring medium in it or anything like that. It's just, a, this is a different type of artwork, I guess. So, I want to start off, I have often started off with a brush, brushing my surface in, or you can, uh, with the paint, I'll just, so I'm just literally, that's way too, you need such a little amount of paint for this particular thing. And I think I'm gonna try and do like an underwater scene, but it needs very minimal paint. And so it's just basically doing the outskirts with this is keep dipping your paintbrush in the water and you can I've done this before just using the balloon only and no no brush at all um, just the brush to, uh, the balloon to literally wipe the surface the colors that you want on your surface so these um, sticky balloon kisses end up do looking like like jellyfish or, you know, that's what lots of people have said to me when I've done it. So I'm gonna dip it in the water to make this very kind of watery. 
These can, when they're finished, they can be um, literally a resin for them to stand out. There's no, especially on this board, this board certainly wouldn't warp or anything. So I'm gonna just wipe the, wash that color off that paintbrush and um, add another color. I should have, oh yeah, that's good. Oh. So I'm just going in and add some of this, like it's like a fluorescent pink. So put a bit of that in there, I guess. Maybe I'll do half. The fluorescent pinky colour. Wash my paintbrush off again. I'm not being too, you know, certainly not being studious with the getting all the other colour off my brush. Um, you can be, I guess. So this is that sort of, what's it called? Green yellow, iridescent green yellow. That's a nice colour, hey? So this is just to set my scene up, I guess, ready for my balloon. And you can certainly practice and practice like this to get the look that you want. I might add a little bit of black, tiny bit of black, because as you know, if you're, if black takes over everywhere if you add too much. So again, just keeping your paint, uh, your brush nice and wet, not dripping, but wet. Like I said, you can certainly do all these uh, preparation with a balloon and not even use a brush. So I am going to move that aside now, leave my brush in the water. I'm going to spray. So get all my paint tubes out of the way. Um, going to spray the whole canvas now with just water and then even spray my balloon and keep a cloth handy to keep wiping your balloon if you need to do so and then we'll have a little play with this so I'm going to just do circular motions to get the paint sort of into the worked up into a nice sort of playable, workable area. I'll have to wipe it off in between the colours, otherwise I'm going to mix the colours. But that's okay because I'm probably going to end up doing that anyway. So just sort of giving it a nice, you know, creaming them up. Ooh, look at that. I said if you feel that you start to really hit, feel it stick too much then just add a little bit more water add in the spray because this is coming out nice and fine it just keeps it a really nice workable surface for you so hey if i do that black that's it i've got to make sure that i keep that away from the other colors at the moment because otherwise that'll definitely mix and make it all look a bit of a muddy colour. Rightio, let's see what I can do with this. So, this is true therapy, just even doing this kind of thing on it. So this is, you'll see when it's just this on this clay board and water and paint, you really can get, I don't know if the camera's showing it, some really su super duper effects in it. So you can I'm gonna mix that over now. Do let's see what I can get with this. I can do just these.
want to bring you down because you can't see the effects unless you're real nice and close to the camera uh, to the to the surface so just one second can you see these absolutely stunning effects that <laughs> the humble balloon and water on this um, surface makes. Probably I do need to add a bit of black on the balloon to go back in with the pink to pick it up again, but there's still U-Butte super effects there. Look at these. Now, wow. Very nice, very nice. So I might go in and, and do a bit more on here, but it's, it's super fun and super effective. So let's let's persist and go a bit further. Radio. Just realised that this needs to be over a little bit further, doesn't it, for you to see? I might add a bit more dark in here because I really like this outside. He's really standing up nicely. So I might need to add a bit of the dark oh, just wet over it so I can still keep on working it working it I might just put a little bit of the actually I should I shouldn't just put the black straight on because I'm going to end up really making a mess just watering putting a bit of water on my balloon and seeing if I can yeah. Let's see. Okay, let's try. Can you see that? Yeah, I might use one little brush here to um, again wet my little brush to do some um, little streams through it like it might uh, literally make it like mm, a nice uh, ribbon effect through it. Comes up very nice when you're doing it on this board. It's a really streamer kind of ribbon effect. Ooh, very cute, patooty. This is very, it's very therapeutic. It's so enjoyable to do. Like I said, I was looking for me, I wanted to get a long balloon and do one out of a long balloon. Oh, so cute. Tootie, might just give a little bit of a hit of the balloon on the inside again. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at <laughs> that comes up. That is gorgeous. Certainly looks like a bouquet now with all the ribbons. I love it. I love doing it and it always ends up beautiful results. You could just leave that to dry exactly as it is and then um, resin it afterwards if you so wish to. And especially being on that board, you could have it as a serving board or um, anything, anything, I guess. So it's all your imagination. Rightio, my lovelies, I'll put, put some dry photos on at the end and it's so much fun please have a go all you need is a little bit of paint spray water and a balloon um, and give it a go if you've got a piece of laminate 
something shiny surfaces I feel that work better with this particular uh, balloon sticky kisses all right my lovelies until tomorrow bye for now